By the summer of 1911, E.W. Marlin was out of money and running out of time. Three years earlier, he'd left the iron and steel city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, headed for the new state of Oklahoma. He was lured to the Sooner State by reports of oil hidden deep beneath the rolling plains. The hunt for petroleum was irresistible to E.W. He loved the thrill of high risk, high stakes, and big payoffs. He arrived in the windswept prairie town of Ponca City with little more than borrowed money and his own burning ambition. E.W. knew how to find oil. He knew how to build a fortune. His confidence convinced investors to bankroll his dream. He had drilled eight wells, but none of them struck oil. His stakeholders backed away, but E.W. kept going. This ninth well, called the Willie Cries, was his last chance. Every dollar I had in the world, every bit of credit I could muster, every hope I had was in that hole in the ground. I had to strike oil. Marlin was a few miles away from the well on the fateful morning of June 27th. Mr. Marlin! Mr. Marlin! When word Marlin, came, he knew Willie, his life had changed Willie, forever. Willie's come in! This is great news! This is great news! This strike gave birth to an empire and the Marlin legend. Even the ever-confident E.W. could not have possibly imagined that in 10 years, he would be one of the world's richest men. What lay ahead for Marlin was far more incredible than any Hollywood movie.